What's the secret to Emily's damage? Why can't she do considerable damage and how you can build her to deal that damage too? So Emily is a Dendro Polearm user. As we all know, Polearms are plenty in this game and having a Polearm is already a major advantage for in favor of Emily. You can pick a Polearm that has crit rate or crit damage to satisfy the damage output or you can go straight with energy recharge like Favonius if you want to match enough energy recharge to start burst off of the cooldown. But something that's nice with Emily is that her elemental skill has a lower cooldown than the duration so you'll be fine anyway. Since Emily is Dendro, she can provide loads of off-field DPS making her a great sub DPS to provide that Dendro reaction even when she isn't on the field herself, which is a fantastic advantage to have. This is an incredibly valuable thing and makes her really strong. Not only that she can be on the off field and you can do more damage, but her uptime is also constant as the that you want. You use your elemental skill, you have that dendro damage. Once the you know duration has ended, you can come back and use your burst and then you'll have it again. And then you can use elemental skill so you don't have to worry about the uptime too much since the burst also resets the cooldown of her skill so you can always have the lumidos case act so if you already have one on the field and use your burst don't worry since it resets it you'll be just fine and you have your skill back ready to output once the duration has ended you can also use the new artifact set for Emily, the Unfinished Reverie, to help output even more damage. So this also means that you're going to have to use a Pyro character to activate the Burning Reaction for her to deal more damage, which is what I recommend. But if you're reluctant and not really want to use something to up her damage in her kit, I don't know why you wouldn't. You could potentially still stick or stick with Deep Wood or the golden troop set. Even a last ditch effort to make Emily be quote unquote a support, she's not, she's a sub DPS. You could use Tenacity of Milith or even Noblesse, but I don't recommend that. I would recommend that you guys go with the Unfinished Reverie set and have someone else on your team to have Deepwood, maybe someone like Toma or maybe even Shangling. So yeah, that's, that's what I would recommend. And the main thing you would want to be using is burning as her main reaction plus it'll be more fun this way anyways since you're dealing with a new type of reaction a new type of damage um we haven't seen a character that you know goes off of burning like this so it's actually really really new. emily's artifact stats are going to be pretty standard attack crit and dendro damage weirdly enough for a dendro character you won't really need much element of mastery on her since, you know, you already have enough elemental mastery boost to burn your burning damage, or to give your burning damage rather. If you do get the substat, it's not a bad choice to have, but it's definitely not what is recommended. Because you could just go along with EV substats such as crit rate, crit damage, attack percentage, and you'll have a much better boost than getting all elemental mastery. So, yeah, just stick with the standard attack, crit, and dendro damage, and you'll benefit a lot anyways plus it's so much easier than elemental mastery so that was the artifact sets and as for the weapons you can use any of the five star crit weapons like Homa, jade um the staff of the scarlet sands you can use any of those and just get a you know quick little crit right or you could use her very own weapon the lumidos elegy or even Shinha's weapon, weirdly enough, could actually be pretty decent since you're going to be off field anyway. And if you have the battle pass weapons, they're going to be pretty okay as well. If you're free to play and you don't have any of these weapons, uh, maybe you didn't get lucky in the weapon banners, so you could use something like the Favonius Lance, get some energy recharge, Dragon's Bane. It has a nice substat that gives you you know, extra damage against any type of, you know, fire or pyro related reaction. So that's pretty nice since burning is a pyro reaction. And maybe even Black Cliff if you're really struggling with crit, though I don't recommend it to that degree. Uh, I think over any of these, I'd stick with the Favonius or Dragon's Bane and you'll be good to go. For her talents, I think you'll benefit the most from putting your marbles into her elemental skill and then after elemental skill go with the elemental burst 
you want to be ignoring your normal attacks. Emily does no normal attacks, he's not gonna be your active character on field, You're pretty much going to use the Anato skill or the Anato burst, you leave the field and then you do damage with your active character. So going with Anato skill first and then burst will do you loads of work, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, I'd say Emily is a really strong character and have loads of benefits, though I do think her weaknesses mostly consist of team compositions at the moment as you'd mostly need to have a pyro character to deal burning to keep up the damage that she can output. Yes, she is a dendro character so technically you don't need to do just burning but you'll be missing out on so much of the actual character's kit that it's almost not worth uh, doing anything other than burning. Though, again, you can make her quote unquote good enough, right? <laughs> to just deal dendro over time, which is already a pretty massive advantage. So, characters like Toma are really good and have been going up and up in value. Or maybe even Xiangling. I know, I said it, I said Xiangling. Um, will have nice off-field damage that can, you know, allow you to deal pyro without worry. Um, so maybe you can have a Nivellet team possibly with this. If, you know, you don't get stolen with those reactions from Emily. Um, I doubt that will happen too often since Shangling uh, will provide most of the vaporize anyway. And you'll deal some burning as well. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the uptime of burning. So you will be good. So maybe it's it's a possible one, I think. But if you want to stay, you know, just true burning, maybe some characters like Hu Tao or Arlecchino is going to keep that burning reaction going and you're going to deal loads of damage with that active character anyway. You won't have to worry. Heck, uh, you can even use Klee. <laughs> Klee would actually be pretty viable. So characters like Arlecchino, any, any pyro characters as your active character is going to be good with Emily. And you'll be good to go. But yeah, that is pretty much it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I know I kind of did a little bit of a rant. But yeah, any characters that have a uh, good pyro off of field, on field, can help you do some burning with uh, Emily. So yeah, you don't have to worry too much about that. Emily's going to be great. She's actually going to be a good character. But it's really unfortunate with her timing. Coming right before Natlin. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did, let me know in the comment section what kind of teams are you going to be running with Emily. Uh, that is if you're going to be summoning for her anyway. Yeah, that's all. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.